I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm I'm relaxed. I'm I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. Come on, you're doing kitty stuff? He's a fake gangster, this guy is a fake tough guy. He's a, he needs to cheap shot his way into getting anything because he knew one on one. In a clean fight, he would not stand a chance. He knows it. Bro, you guys go. We want it to fight, man. You got to run, you fucking stupid. Bro, you're acting stupid now, bro. Come on, bro. I told you to chill. I told you to fall back. I told him to fight back. I told him to fight back. What a botty boy. What an a hole. What a butt licker. This dude who does. Like, who the hell is this dude? So Adam thought I told this nameless pussycat to kiss Slims by his shoes, right? And he should. Why? Because nobody knows this guy. Okay, he's giving you a chance, giving you some re relevancy. And he go and do this. It's pitiful, honestly. And, and the, the thing is, this guy who's supposedly training him, who's instigating the whole thing, is a Bellator professional fighter. I mean, what the... F like, he should know better, honestly. Uh, why the hell are you being physical? And the thing is about these guys, you can clearly see, they're absolutely pussy. They really are. Because the only reason a person becomes physical first is because they're afraid of what might happen if they don't. You know, they're afraid, uh, you know, if they, they don't throw the first punch or anything like that, is they're going to get hit and hurt. They, they, they're scared of getting hurt. So obviously, you know, people don't want to get hurt. But you're, if you ha don't have any self-control when it comes to those types of situations where you don't know what's going to happen and you want to just throw hands first because, you you know, you're getting angry and all these things, you're a pussy. That's why you do it. So it's, it's pitiful, bro. I mean, the event is happening. The, the contracts have has been signed. He has just had a press conference. And he goes in and, and, and just ruins the whole thing. And probably the, the fight is going to be canceled because of this shit. And it's a sad to see because Slim al God knows for how long he's trained for this. And it ends up being a canceled. And it's this whole time wasted. It's, it's just pitiful, bro. And he gave him this chance, honestly. He gave this irrelevant, nameless, bati boy a chance to shine. And he ruined it. This guy ruined it. <laughs> and he's just, it's his freaking joke. And nobody's going to give this man a chance if that's just how, how he's going to act. Like, well, what are, you, what are you doing? You're doing too much. I, I get that you're trying to promote the fight, I guess. I don't know. What are you trying to do with that? Why are you getting physical? It doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. He's just totally unprofessional, uh, unnecessary, inappropriate. And he's a dickhead, an a-hole, an asshole, a piece of shit, a person that eats assholes and spits doodle. It smells like total... I don't know, sweat cheeks, cheek sweat, whatever. He, he smells like freaking gonorrhea mixed with vomit and, and fish oil. I don't know. He smells like salmon, salmonella, salmonella or something like that. It smells like he looked like he looked like one of those homeless people that be having sexual relations with their homeless married friends, with a homeless male friends in the, in the train. I don't want to be loud. There's kids around. 